Kenya's impressive standard gauge railway, commonly referred to as SGR, is the country's largest infrastructure project since its independence in 1963. It is a flagship project under Kenya's Vision 2030 development agenda. The SGR is also one of the infrastructure projects under China's transcontinental Belt and Road Initiative due to Kenya's location as a natural corridor into East and Central Africa. It runs for 592 kilometers connecting Kenya's port, Mombasa, to its capital, Nairobi, and finally to the Naivasha Inland Container Depot in Suswa. Freight destined for Nairobi is transported from Mombasa to the Nairobi ICD. Cargo destined for neighboring countries is transported to the Naivasha ICD. The SGR has enhanced regional economic integration. The last mile that we do from Naivasha and the savings that go with it is very important. So there are several benefits both including but not limited to sparing the economic growth of the region in terms of goods and services arriving in their destinations, farmers getting their fertilizer, exporting their goods without any challenges nowadays. We are looking at uh, the trickle-down economies, which goes together with industrialization and employment all over the country now. Another trickle-down effect is the opening of businesses at stations. Passengers waiting to board can purchase products at shops or enjoy a meal at restaurants. Mayura restaurant is one such business. It has two branches at the Nairobi and Mombasa Terminal. We have great customers. We don't struggle too much to get customers. My main work is to make sure customers are fully satisfied and to come again. And also, for the SGR customers, they are repeat customers. So we usually make sure we give them good service so that they can, they can come back again. Freight and passenger trains that travel on the SGR are dubbed Madaraka Express. It's been four years since the launch of Madaraka Express services. So far, over 1.3 million TEUs and 5.4 million passengers have been transported. Madaraka Express is the most preferred option for land travel between Mombasa, Nairobi and Suswa with an average seat occupancy of 92%. I like traveling with the SVR since 2017. It's comfortable. You can enjoy yourself when you are there. You can get food from it. And you don't expect accidents because it's safe. The buses. That's why I come to eat and I enjoy it. Passengers are treated to scenic views and a vast array of wildlife as the trains pass through the Nairobi National Park and the Savo National Park. To allow wildlife to migrate safely, viaducts and underpasses were constructed. I like the scenery on the way. On a beautiful day, you can be able to see various animals, uh, such as zebras, gazelles, giraffes, even elephants. And uh, on a good weather, you enjoy the peaceful view of Mount Kilimanjaro. An amazing railway safari. Freight customers are content. They repeat customers as the services are fast, efficient, and cargo is secure. One of the satisfied customers is Grain Bulk Handlers Limited, GBHL. It provides handling solutions for grain cargo transported within East and Central Africa. 
To expedite the movement of cargo, companies like GBHL are allowed to extend the SGR line to their facilities. Obviously, 3 million tons is a lot of cargo that is actually moves through the port of Mombasa and through our transport infrastructure. So we engaged Kenya Railways and uh, Apristar and CRBC, and we came up with this concept of linking both terminals in Mombasa and in Bakasi with the SGR. So we worked together with their technical department and built this infrastructure. So we have the loading points in Mombasa and we have the receiving point uh, in Mbakasi, and we actually constructed them jointly with these partners of ours. Now, when it comes to running the service, the service has been brilliant for us. Uh, we're very happy with it. Uh, the advantages that we get is that uh, we have a full pool of 3,000 tons at any one time. Uh, we have a fleet of five trains uh, going in rotation, carrying our cargo. We have an accurate uh, time of departure and we have an accurate time of arrival. We have visibility through the entire journey time and it's reliable. The success of the SGR is attributed to Africa Star Railway Operation Company Limited, AfriStar in short. A world-class railway management company that operates and maintains the SGR. It's on a mission to provide safe, efficient, customer-focused railway services. Another AfriStar goal is to attain a 90% localization rate by 2022. It's nearly there. Afrista employs over 2,500 employees, 80% of whom are Kenyan. This localization rate is a testament to the technical training opportunities available. Kenyans are employed in 123 railway specialities under the truck and signaling, rolling stock, locomotive and transport departments. They are also employed in business support departments such as finance, corporate culture, safety supervision and human resources, to name a few. At the heart of SGR operations is the dispatch center. Train number 56007, Simba Station, stop on track one. Here, train dispatchers manage track use, control traffic flow, and ensure trains are routed safely. In order to manage freight and passenger traffic, dispatchers depend on data from a centralized traffic control system, CTC. We do a total of eight pairs of train, that is for freight train, and when the volumes of cargo are more, we do nine pairs of freight train. Then for passenger train, we do a daily production of three pairs of train. We manage to do all these trains, yet our railway is single tracked because we do have 33 stations in the Mombasa Nairobi Railway and on the Nairobi Naivasa Railway we have five stations. For a large number of trains to use a single track daily, train dispatchers remotely align a section of the rail to a siding known as a side track. They then order trains from Nairobi to stop on the side track. A train from Mombasa will continue on the main track and pass the stopped train. Unlike the passenger train schedule, which is predetermined, freight train schedules change daily. The train scheduling of largely our freight trains is based on various factors. We consider the availability of volumes of cargo that are ready and available for transportation. Then the speed which they are loaded or offloaded from our trains and also the distribution of the vehicles that we do have and the capacity of vehicles that we do have that incorporates locomotives available and vehicles, rolling stock available. So given all these factors, we will schedule the freight trains on a spaced periodic, periodic time frame across the day. Then for passenger trains, the scheduling is set by our local railway bureau, that is Kenya Railways. Passenger trains are given priority on the line. Not only is this a world standard, it also ensures the punctuality of the passenger trains. Coordination between train dispatchers and their colleagues is essential for the successful planning and execution of the truck schedule.
train A3001 inquiring approaching roads. A3001, voice station, stop behind the home signal. A3001, voice station, stop behind the home signal, drive understand. Locomotive drivers specialize in driving freight, passenger and shunting locomotives. The major difference of a passenger locomotive and freight locomotive is with the maximum speed and also the maximum power output. The maximum speed for the passenger locomotive is 120 km per hour and that one for the freight locomotive is 80. And uh, when you're driving the, these particular trains, you, have to put, you need to factor that in. Uh, with regards to the maximum uh, output power, the freight power is a little bit higher because uh, we do a maximum of 4,000 tons. So we need a power that will be able to do the traction for this particular locomotive. But for me, I'm very comfortable uh, driving both these locomotives, regardless of their differences. The operator transports steel, chemicals, fertilizers, machinery, electronics, and grain, to name a few. To transport the different types of cargo, a variety of wagons are used. Our principal cargo is uh, containerized cargo. Um, that does about 60 to 70 percent of our total uh, cargo haulage. Right behind me is a container train that is being offloaded at the moment. We have different uh, types of uh, wagons. We have uh, flat wagons, flatbed wagons, mainly used for carrying containers. We can also mount uh, saddles on the same wagons to be able to carry steel cargo. Uh, we also uh, mount um, bulk container wagons to be able to carry bulk grain on the same type of wagons. Each freight train carries 108 TUs. When demand rises, Afrista increases a train's carrying capacity by using double-stack technology. Evidently, railway operations is dependent on the performance of SGR assets. Thorough maintenance is therefore one of Afrista's highest priorities. As you can see right behind me here at the locomotive depot, our inspection and maintenance team is hard at work conducting locomotive engine maintenance to ensure the safety, reliability, capability, and efficiency of passenger and freight services, Afrista conducts daily, periodic, and corrective maintenance of locomotive engines, rolling stock, the track, and railway equipment. These locomotive workers are busy with a type of periodic maintenance known as medium-scale maintenance. It is conducted when the locomotive mileage is between 400 and 500,000 kilometers. Good morning, James. Please confirm again the skylight tank for ICD section. The skylight has been given for ICD from 9.20 to 12.00 hours. Okay, confirm. Elsewhere, at the Nairobi ICD, the track maintenance team is rectifying track irregularities. What we're doing is a regular maintenance. Maintenance that is done each and every single day. We're supposed to do an inspection on all the lines to determine which sections have uh, values that are beyond the normal maintenance values. So basically what we're doing today is uh, we are rectifying longitudinal level irregularities as well as cross-level irregularities. Due to the wear and tear of rolling stock, regular maintenance is done on all passenger coaches and freight wagons. We have to do the technical inspection at least an hour and a half before the train departs, you have to be really sure that before you allow the train to depart, as the train departs, you are satisfied that it has, it has all the minimum standards for, so that the cargo is safe. And also we, as the technicians, have done our part to ensure that there are no any faults that have, that faults or major faults that can occur at the journey. 
Railway Operations and Maintenance is knowledge intensive. To develop staff capabilities, Africa conducts vocational skills training. To expedite localization, staff undergo apprenticeship training from seasoned Chinese expatriates. We are learning skills from the Chinese expatriates through the on-job training. The benefits of this skill transfer cannot be overstated. Local staff have become competent in all railway disciplines. We have been given more responsibilities, resulting in career growth. We now have Kenyans in various managing positions thanks to the apprenticeship training. Professional development opportunities at Chinese institutions like Beijing Jiao Tong University and Shangxi Railway Institute are also provided. AFRISTAR is an organization that cares. It integrates social and environmental concerns into its values and culture. The company has three corporate social responsibility pillars. They are education and child welfare, health and environment. Under its education pillar, the operator offers full high school scholarships to students in need such as Leon, a hard-working pupil who aspires to be an engineer. I'm really grateful to the company for giving me this scholarship. It has helped me stay focused on my studies and realize my dreams of becoming a registered civil engineer. Under its health pillar, AFISA supports Total Care Box, an NGO that reduces infant mortality in Kenya by donating maternity packages. Our partner, Afrista, you are God sent. We have been able to raise money for 100 boxes that will save lives of 200 people. So 100 newborns and 100 mothers. We cannot be more grateful. We love you. We can't do without you. You're securing the next generation and the future. The package consists of essential items required during the neonatal period to ensure the health of both the mother and child. As for the environmental pillar, the company conducts tree planting activities. The future looks bright for the SGR in Kenya. From operations and maintenance to railway services, decongestion and CSR activities, the SGR project and AFRISTA remain steadfast to its vision of providing socio-economic benefits for the country. Our shared goal is to keep moving forward.